Hello everyone, this is Eddie the Magic Monk. Last lesson we learned how to translate a point and today we're going to talk about how to translate a curve. So for example, um, if we have a curve, let's say y equals x squared, and if we want to translate it using a matrix, t is equal to, let's say, um, 2 and 3. What happens is every single point on this curve is going to be translated by this matrix. Okay, so if I list a point on this curve, let's say when x is 1, y is 1, alright, 1, 1 is going to be translated into so let's plus the translation matrix and we get the image um, which is 3, 4 okay if you guys remember this formula original point plus the translation matrix gives you the image um, which is x dash y dash Okay, so this is x dash y dash. Let's do another point. Let's do when x is 1, y is 4. Right, because once oh, when x is 2, y is 4, sorry. Right, because using the formula, 2 squared is 4. Plus the transformation, translation matrix, 2, 3. And the answer is 4, 7. Now, I don't want to keep doing this forever for every single point on this curve. So there must be a better way to represent the image. So, well firstly let us just show you the result. Okay, so if I in GeoGebra draw my original curve, so I draw y equals x squared and I want to translate it using the matrix 2, 3 so I type translate oops translate object is C and the vector or the matrix that I'm translating it with is 2, 3 okay so I have validated it using GeoGebra I've got I've got my original curve which is C and my C dash which is my image curve and you can see here originally I have a point on 1 1 okay on the original curve and it has been translated to 3 4 so that point is now here All right A has gone to B and if you have a look at the second point that I found 2 4 has gone to 4 7 so 2 4 originally here has gone to 4 7 which is here right so these two points have gone to these two right they all moved in the same direction by the same amount. Okay, but the problem is I want to know what the image curves equation is, right? Because I don't want to have to translate every single point in order to draw my new um, equation. Now you can see here GeoGebra has done the equation for us but we need to know how it got that equation so what do you do well let's use our general formula so x y plus a b which is 2 3 is equal to x dash y dash okay now what happens is um, if I write out these two equations um, I'm just gonna make x y the subject you'll see why I'm doing that in a second so x dash y dash 
minus two three right because I'm moving this matrix to the other side which makes the operation the opposite of what's there already so a plus turns into a minus and now if I write out these three uh, matrices using um, the formulas only x will equal x dash minus 2 and y will equal y dash minus 3 okay now if we know from the original equation y is equal to x squared alright and we know that x dash minus 2 will give you x y dash minus 3 will give you y we can now relate x dash and y dash together through this original equation and that's the only way we can somehow link x dash to y dash so if a dash, x dash minus 2 will give us the original x I'm gonna substitute x dash minus 2 over here and I'm gonna substitute y dash minus 3 into y okay x dash minus 2 is substituted into x y dash minus 3 is substituted into y and now I have an equation that relates x dash to y dash so now if I expand it out and I move everything to one side except y dash so x dash minus 2 squared plus 3 okay I can expand it out if I want which will give me x dash squared um, plus 4 minus 4x dash plus 3 on the end which will give me x dash squared minus 4x dash plus 7 and that is what the equation in GeoGebra equals okay so that is um, how to find the image after you translate a curve um, actually just before I let you go let's quickly do another example Find the equation of the image of the curve y equals 1 over x translated by 2, negative 4. Right, something more difficult. Have a go at it, come back when you're done. So x and y plus 2 and negative 4 will give you x dash, y dash. So x and y must equal x dash y dash minus the translation matrix so if I write it out x is equal to x dash minus 2 y is equal to y dash minus negative 4 so y equals equal to y dash plus 4 okay now substituting these into our formula y is equal to 1 over x I then have y dash plus 4 right I'm substituting this into y and I'm substituting this into x so y dash plus 4 equals 1 over x dash minus 2 and I'm going to move the plus 4 to the other side so it's 1 over x dash minus 2 minus 4 and let's test it using GeoGebra to see whether I've got the right answer so let's put in y equals 1 over x into GeoGebra clear everything I have here 1 equals 1 over x Wow, awesome graph. Now let's translate it using 2 and negative 4. So translate f of x 
with 2 and negative 4 yes that's what I have so press enter and now it's translated it and it's given me the formula for the image 1 over x dash minus 2 minus 4 is that what I have 1 over x dash minus 2 minus 4 yes exactly the same okay thanks for watching guys see you next time